Justin, the lead singer, and I are both band directors. Um, so we kind of met, we, all the band directors in the region will meet up and we'll talk about, you know, what to do for next year. And so at one of these meetings, I just kind of met him and it was my first year at Childress, which was about half hour from Wellington. So we started talking and I told him I was a drummer and he said, well, we might need a drummer in about six months. So I kind of just hung out and we got to know each other. And then they asked me to come in and sit in one night and I guess the rest is history. It seems to work pretty good. We all get along really well. Um, but yeah, there is definitely uh, age gaps. Um, but it's really cool. I mean, Dickie, he knows all sorts of stuff from, you know, the 70s and the 60s. So he'll kind of talk to us about that stuff. And then I'll talk to him about the new bands that I'm enjoying. And then Ed will throw in his, uh, his opinions on Pat Green and whatnot. And so it's, we really bring a lot of different perspectives because of the age differences. The musicians that have influenced me uh, would be Max Roach, uh, Danny Carey from Tool, uh, Carter Beaufort from Dave Matthews Band. A lot of a lot of drummers. I went to to music school, college, um, and I really studied the art of playing drums, and so I really got into a lot of that. Um, so a lot of the old jazz guys, Elvin Jones, Art Blakey, all those guys, they really influenced me. The the groove face. I think uh, every drummer has a groove face. There's there's nothing going on up here. You know, when we play in jazz band or whatever, there's always a trumpet in someone's face or a saxophone, and so for us. Just this is, you know, just free to do whatever it wants. And, you know, I just, I don't really think about it. And it just kind of happens when I, I really get in the music. My job is to make sure Dickie isn't running off the stage uh, and keeping everybody kind of on track and going in the same direction, I think. It's really unusual. I mean, you can go to towns, you know, or Amarillo, or I grew up in Fort Collins. And it's to find five musicians of this quality, it's, it's a rare thing. And especially when you talk about you know, Wellington being a town of 2,000 people, we find five people who, you know, get along so well and play music and just have a passion for it. It's, it's, it's a special thing. A favorite song that we play? Uh, I really like Hanging On. It's kind of my drum solo. I get to count everybody off and I get to yell at them, which is kind of fun. Um, so that one's probably my favorite. I also like Lonely Goes. It's kind of cool flavor and a cool feel to it that I enjoy playing. When I see people tapping their foot, clapping along, getting in the music, I know that uh, we're doing the right stuff and I'm, I'm doing our my job right. Um, if you look out there and people are talking to each other and maybe looking at their phones, then I'm thinking, well, we got to change something, and so I'll try, we'll try to go a different direction.